What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today is actually a very special video This is the 2020 best tripods that you can get so I'm gonna show you exactly what just came in the mail But before I do I'm gonna set it up and give you a little preview But these are gonna be the best tripods and the actual number one tripod that I would recommend in 2020 so check out what I got I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I'm gonna use it and why it's so beneficial in 2020 and for the years to come. Right now, we're gonna get right into the video. So as you can see, this is the package that I just got. So we got the SwitchPod uh, tripod and then we got the SwitchPod ball head. These two are gonna be one of the top quality tripods that we can have in the world right now in 2020. This is a very durable tripod that is a very easy maneuverable. It doesn't have a ball head on it, so it's gonna keep it at a still position, which is why you have to get this attachment, which allows you to rotate and move the camera into the designated areas. So I'm gonna set this up and show you exactly what it looks like right now. So as you can see, I don't actually have the tripod on right now, so I'm in this kind of awkward position, causing me to kind of have back problems, or your back will get sore, or when you're holding the camera, you have to hold it right here, and you can't really maneuver it in the ways you want. You have to literally hold it and you can't get it into the designated positions. So this tripod is gonna help kind of give you that stability to where you can maneuver it in any direction and any form on any surface that is a hard surface. So the only downside of this tripod is that it can only be placed on hard surfaces that are leveled. The Joby 5K tripod or 3K or 1K, those are great for smaller cameras. The 5K is great for DSLRs and other cameras. These, This tripod is really great for uh, heavy cameras with big lenses and great microphones so it won't unbalance and fall apart. So we're gonna open this up right now and give you a preview of what it looks like. What it says on the back, as you can see, I'm just gonna read it to you. One, quickly attach any camera or ball head adapter with the tightening knob, which is this thing. Two, finger grooves make it easy to hold and is crafted out of lightweight and aluminum. So it's not heavy because the camera you are probably using if it's the Sony a7 III, the S, or the EOS R, or EOS RP, it's gonna give you a lot of heavy weight and density. It'll cause the 1K or 3K to start tilting over a little bit, which can cause a little bit of discomfort and you have to reconfigure uh, your tripod a, a lot, because I have been through that issue and it sucks. So we're gonna open this up if I can figure out how to, there we go. It comes in a very clean packaging. So let's, let me let me show you. Packaging it comes in is very clean and crisp. You know, made by creators, for creators. This is perfectly for YouTube creators and anybody who wants to do photography. It gives you a much better stability. Comes in a nice felt little outline. This is the tripod. You pull this out like this, and this is what it looks like. It's literally this small. And how it works is you just extend it like that, place it down, and now you have a perfect tripod. So now we're gonna attach the camera and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when I don't have the tripod on. I have to hold the camera with one arm, which can cause a little bit of discomfort. It's very heavy, so you have to take precaution and not cause your arm to kind of get tired and your camera kind of drops down. And it just doesn't look as good as you want. So we're gonna attach the tripod and I'm gonna show you the difference hands on. So now I have the tripod actually on the mount and it's not on the ball head, it's simply just on the tripod. So I can bring this up, put the things back together. So now I have the tripod actually on the camera. Now it's going to be a little bit different if you're not used to using tripods, but it's actually very versatile because now I can control it from wherever I want. I can walk around, I can control the ring a little bit easier without having to use the ring with one hand. Now I can use the ring with my other hand and kind of do that like special zoom in feature whenever I want to. Before it was kind of awkward because you have to use the same hand you're holding it from to zoom in and zoom out. So now we're gonna put the ball head on and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in that sense. But super simple to use this tripod because all you do is you turn this little knob 
tighten it harder, and this is how you loosen it up. It's super easy and convenient to just put it right there. And I'm using the EOS R with the 16 to 35 with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. I'll show you in the mirror as soon as I can. We're gonna open up the ball mount right here, and I'm gonna show you that part and how to attach it to here. Now before we get into what the ball mount is, there's a couple little things on here that will give you a little bit more of an idea of how it works. There's a 1 4th inch 20 through mount, rubberized non-slip pad, 90 degrees portable tilt, easy adjustable tightening knob, which is super amazing, 360, 360 degrees swivel rotation, and a mounting thread so you can attach this to right here. The packaging is exactly the same. It's a little bit of felt around the thing. Very clean, very professional, aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna take this little switch pod out if I can. I cannot, but here we go. This is a little bit heavier. It's gonna cause a little bit more of a heavy feeling, but it's incredibly versatile so you can get those different angles when you need. We're gonna attach it right now. I'm gonna show you this. Now that we have the swivel attached, it's super simple. You just attach this on and you kind of move this little bottom knob until this is secured. And then you can take this little trigger thing right here and twist it until it's secured and that allows you to move it over and around. So we're gonna patch the camera now so I can show you how it looks like when I have the camera on the actual tilt. All right, so now we have the camera on a little bit of a 45 degree tilt backwards so I can kind of have a little bit of a better view. Now this is how I'm gonna be vlogging moving forward on all my videos just because it's gonna be a little bit more convenient, it's gonna help me with my accuracy on where I'm filming and it's really gonna perform at just an optimized level of better quality. So we're gonna put it all together, we're gonna bring it out, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a mirror so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so we are now in my room and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So we have it kind of set up like this. The tripod, this is what my camera looks like. It's actually incredibly easy to hold. There's not a lot of issues when I'm holding it. It's actually very light because this is aluminum. It's not a heavy duty steel. The Joby tripod, what really happens with the Joby tripod is it kind of moves like this and it'll kind of fall because the legs will kind of continuously move outwards if it's not on a flat surface. So this is the best possible tripod that you could use in the sense of vlogging. You literally will just hold it like this and this is how it would look. As you can see in the mirror, I'm kind of, and right there. It's holding a very heavy camera. This camera is about, I don't know, four to five pounds with all the lenses and everything. And it's gonna give me a little bit more balance. Holding it like this, holding it like this. Anywhere I go, it's going to give me that proper structure of where I can be. Now again, I have the tripod on a 45-ish degree angle just to be easier and without even knowing, I can zoom in and I can zoom out of whenever I want to kind of give it more of clarity and clearness. So we're gonna zoom it back out to 15, we're gonna zoom it back into 35, 24 of what I actually usually film at. All right, so we are still using the tripod. I'm not exactly sure where we left off on the video, but uh, as you can tell, I'm kind of in some darkness because, you know, the power just went out because that's just how it happens when there's a, a uh, mega thunderstorms. We're kind of in this process of not really knowing when the power is gonna turn back on. We're gonna do a little test test, taste test, uh, record test of the low light on the Canon EOS R. I'm doing it all on auto mode, so we're gonna kind of see how this works. How I am lighting myself up is uh, I got these two light, nice little candles. My girlfriend left them here. Uh, we got these candles, it's kind of like a go Ooh, ghost story. So I don't really know what else to say about this tripod besides like it's actually one of my favorite tripods and it's incredibly good for, you know, everything of holding the camera, a heavy DSLR with a heavy mic, with a heavy lens, with a heavy camera, about a five pound camera. This is actually incredibly versatile. So I highly recommend getting the switch pod and getting the switch pod swivel mount so you can angle your camera at different angles at any circumstance in any way possible. Again, the only downside with this tripod is that it has to be on a flat surface. You can't have it on like a rocky portion because it's not able to bend in certain way. The other tripod I have is, just give me one second, 
is this one. Now this is my big standing one. It's about, uh, no, it's probably six feet tall. You can probably get to about nine or 10 feet tall if I extend this part all the way as well as the legs. So this is my uh, go-to tripod when I'm doing standing videos, when I have to film something where I have to run up to something or a sporting event or anything along those lines. But this tripod is just good for handheld stuff, some nice little B-roll, anything along those lines. And I really appreciate how sturdy and strong this tripod is. Made with titanium, so it's durable. The grip on the bottom of the tripod is rubber, so it doesn't actually slide or move. The Joby tripod, the 5K that I used to use, is incredibly good for having it on those rocky surfaces. It can kind of manipulate it to the actual area that you're trying to film on. Flickering you do see is again, uh, these candles, I'm gonna maybe, maybe I can hold them like this, maybe it's a little bit of a better lighting, or maybe like over, over closer to the camera lens, maybe, I don't know, but we're gonna try and figure out just, this lighting kind of sucks, my phone is also on 9%, so maybe if I do the flashlight, mmm, yeah! There we go, I have the flashlight now facing me, so I'm blinded, but, it, you gotta make do and improvise, adapt, and overcome these obstacles to get you with the proper lighting and just through life. I've had a lot of thinking to do and you know, I feel like I'm a changed man going back to my roots of who I really am, that loving, caring, kind, doing these specific things to really show my love and affection. I'm a very independent guy. The most important thing for me is to continue being independent but working with somebody else to become dependent but staying independent. Working on each other's goals while working on our separate goals because those separate goals are what's gonna bring each other stronger and not just my relationship and eventually over time that emotional, that physical connection will continue to kindle like ours. This mindset at the quarantine and you have to remember that the love doesn't disappear. There may be things that obstacles you have to overcome. Always stay strong in the aspect that no matter what, you can always get through it. And there's always ways to get through it. Communication, uh, just because I like to bottle things up. I'm really letting that go and I'm really trying to open up to the people who I love the most to really show who I am. I am a strong, independent man. You have that person that's your best friend from college or your girlfriend who will help you or your fiance or your wife because this will happen throughout life. You're gonna begin to learn who each other is during that physical and emotional connection. It's incredibly important to just continue to know that things will always work out in the end between the two people who are in love. If anybody is going through these specific hardships, just know that you and your girlfriend, boyfriend, wife and husband, or your fiance, like you can make it through. All you have to do is communicate. Do small gestures of love. No matter how you feel, how upset and angry you get, no matter how big the fight is, always work through it. Even if that means taking a couple steps backwards to go forwards. And it's gonna be very difficult to do that. Every situation, no matter what it is, but it'll make your love stronger and it'll make your love better. And that is my tip. All I wanna do in every single one of my videos is touch somebody else's heart. To explain what I'm going through, what someone else is going through, just making sure that at least one person can take something positive out of this and apply it to their lives. It's what I want all of you to do is just always think about the positives and you know, the positives may work sooner than later. It could take two days, it could take two months, two weeks, it could take a year, it takes, could take as long as it needs uh, or as short as it needs. You may figure out within a, a month that made us think about our independency on how we can depend on each other in a way of being independent at the same time. If anybody can take something from this, take it. Comment below some of your concerns, some of your thoughts, because everybody in every relationship has a concern, anything, stress, anxiety, depression. It's in everybody's lives. You just may not have found it yet. You may just not know it yet. Speaking from the heart, it can be fixed. Everything is fixable. True love 
love at first sight, these things are real. I've experienced it firsthand, and I'm incredibly happy that I've experienced this firsthand, and I'm incredibly excited. Like I said, if moving a step backwards is what you have to do to move forward, that's what's gonna happen. And like I said again, you know, it could take one week, it could take one month, it could take one year, it could take as long as it, it, it could take or as short as possible to get there. That was a little rant. I didn't mean to put that rant in this video, but I really wanted to show and explain where I'm coming from and explain the positive of everything. Love does not disappear. But trust me, everybody, all of my supporters, no matter what you're going through, your your concerns, your issues, your problems, your will make it through and you will be there at the end and you will be engaged and you will be married, get that apartment you dream of, you will get that job you love. And it, all these things will happen in time and it's just about faith, trust, belief, and believing in yourself. But back to this tripod, this tripod is unbelievably, I'm, I'm so beyond happy that I got this tripod. If you haven't been able to get that deal or find a discount code, recommend getting it for anybody who is into the vlog game, YouTube game, fitness game, just to help record your videos at a much better, faster, stronger rate. But I wanna thank you all for stopping by this video. It means the absolute world to me that you have stopped by and watched me. You, you could have been doing anything and you decided to come and, and see me. That means the world. If you haven't already, hit that sub button. It's probably down there or up there or wherever it is on your screen. Smash that thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. Share, comment, and show this to a family, a friend who's in need, and get this tripod. My name is Noah Deutsch, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye.